Hey class, this is um, an example of a um, composite shape and we are going to find the volume as well as the surface area of this shape, okay? Um, so this shape consists of um, a rectangular prism and a pyramid on top. So um, let's just go and find the volume first. Okay, for the volume, we would say that would be the volume of the rectangular prism plus the volume of the pyramid, right? Now, um, volume of a rectangular prism, a rectangular prism is a straight up solid. So what we will just say is it will be the area of the base shape, which would be this multiply by how tall, which would be six inches is the how tall. Okay, so um, area of the base shape, which would be in this case, a rectangle multiply by how tall. Okay, now the um, area of the, uh, the volume actually of the pyramid is one third of the straight up solid. One third of the straight up solid, in this case, a rectangular prism. Okay, so um, uh, let's take a look here. Vo volume of the blue part would be six by six, which is the area of the base shape, which is this right here. Multiply by how tall, which is six. So that would be six times six times six. Um, six times six is 36. 36 times six is 216. And we are talking volume. So we're talking, we're counting cubes. So inches cube. So that would be the um, blue part there. Okay, now the yellow part on top, the, the volume of a pyramid is one third of whatever that straight up solid is. And the straight up solid happened to be a rectangular prism. Um, in this case, we would say area of the base shape multiplied by how tall? How tall is the question? What is the height of that pyramid? We are not talking about that slanted side because that slanted side is the height of the um, rectangular surface there. We are talking about the height of the pyramid, which would go from here to there, okay? Now from here to there, that would be 10 minus six. So that part is four. Okay, that part is four. That's the height of the pyramid. So then the height of the pyramid is four. That's the how tall. And then the um, base of the pyramid is that rectangle right there, which would be six by six. Okay, and pyramid, so it is one third of whatever the straight up solid is. Just like in your lesson video, you have seen that a cone is one third of a cylinder, right? So um, this is the same concept when it comes to a point, like a pyramid, it's one third of whatever the um, straight up solid is. So now let's do the calculations. That would be six times six times four, and that will give us 144. And we are talking volume, so it would be cubes. We are counting cubes. So the volume of this shape, um, this composite shape would be 216 plus 144, and that would be 300, and so volume is 360 cubic inches. Okay, so that's the volume. Now, question to you is how to find the surface area. Well, the surface area is the area of all the surfaces, right? So uh, when looking at this, we would say there are those yellow surfaces and there are blue surfaces. Right, so for um, surface area, 
we would have, let's look at the blue first. The bottom is six by six. And the sides are six by six also. So in this case, um, it just happened that these are the same dimensions. It actually is a cube on the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five surfaces. There is no top on that cube. So there are five of these. Okay, so that's the blue part. And then the yellow part, we have four, four triangles, okay? So that's the surface area of, um, of this shape. Now, when we say four triangles, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. And the height is that slanted side. So um, that height is this right here. Okay. And so we have to go and find a dimension of that slanted height. Now, if you take a look at if I just draw one more line right here, you can see that there is a right triangle right there. That's the line inside there, right? Now, this part is three because it the pyramid on top is right in the middle. In the middle in between six is three. So that dimension is three. And if you look at that, um, three, four, four, three, four, this one must be five. Well, how do I know that? I just know a three, four, five right triangle, but if we didn't know that, we would say three square plus four square is equals to hypotenuse square. So nine plus 16 equals hypotenuse square. Hypotenuse square is 25. So then hypotenuse must be five, right? So the height of that, um, yellow um, triangle, as we can see, is five. So I'm going to go ahead and say that length right there is five. Okay, so five is right there. And I am going to go ahead and show that it is five inches. Now, with that, we can calculate the surface area for blue we would say five of six by six and six by six is 36. 36 times five is 180. And then the yellow, you have four triangles. Um, the base of the triangle is this length right here, which is six inches. And the height of the triangle, as we have seen earlier, is five. So that would be four. Five times six is 30. Half of that is 15. And so four triangles, that would be 60. So then our surface area is 180 plus 60, which is 240. And we're talking area, so the unit must be square. We're counting square units. So that is the surface area of that shape. Okay, questioned, do email me and let me know. Um, but we want to make sure that we understand the concept of surface area being the boundary of the shape. That is why we did not count. That is why we did not count the top here because that top is not really there, right? It's being covered by that pyramid. So we only have five um, blue sides here. And then on top, we have one, two, three, four, four um, triangles. Those are the surfaces of that shape. And that is the surface area.